Item number SCP-274 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Any buildings found to be infected with SCP-274 are to be reported immediately to a superior and the leader of Mobile Task Force Pi-1, City Slickers. MTF Pi-1 is to incinerate cases of SCP-274-1 and secure the infected buildings by performing a quarantine with a 1 km radius under the guise of the local police and fire department. MTF Pi-1 is to terminate any cases of SCP-274-2 through the use of high-pressure fire hoses. Civilians insisting on entering an instance of SCP-274-1 are to be detained and have one Class B amnestic administered. Any apparatus used to contain or handle SCP-274 should either be incinerated or entirely composed of metal or glass, and washed thoroughly immediately after use. The cover story for a containment breach of SCP-274 should be gang-related arson. SCP-274 is a paint of variable color. Buildings inflicted with SCP-274 appear to have large amounts of graffiti covering the sides of the building, and often have large, disturbing designs to them. See Addendum 274. While its consistency is that of normal paint, its composition reveals it to be 28% hemoglobin, 12% gastric acid, and 60% common components consistent with Krylon brand spray paint. When SCP-274 is applied to a wall, it will begin to spread until it has covered the wall and any other walls attached to it. When SCP-274 is applied to a wall, it will begin to spread until it has covered the wall and any walls attached to it. SCP-274 is unable to spread on metal, glass, and horizontal surfaces. While SCP-274 spreads on buildings, it will convert the interior of a wall into a large mesoglea, the interior walls into a gastrodermis, and the exterior walls act as a protective shell and epidermis. Buildings coated entirely with SCP-274 will become cases of SCP-274-1. SCP-274-1 exhibit signs of life, react to stimuli, and behave in a manner similar to many species of the Anthozoic class. Buildings converted into SCP-274-1 lure passing civilians by emitting noises from inside SCP-274-1. Sounds of glass breaking, loud coughing, or pained whimpers have all been reported from D-Class personnel. It is currently unknown whether SCP-274-1 or the SCP-274-2s are responsible for this behavior, as the noises stop immediately upon entry. Typically, civilians will either call the police or investigate the noises themselves. As subjects search inside SCP-274-1, they will be recognized as food by instances of SCP-274-2, if any are present. When a victim enters a room inside SCP-274-1, barring the entryway, they will immediately be suctioned into a gastrovascular cavity belonging to SCP-274-1 later processing them into SCP-274 and one instance of SCP-274-2. Specimens of SCP-274-2 are organisms composed of SCP-274 that appear as men or women wearing a gas mask or respirator, along with a bright pastel-colored hoodie. SCP-274-2 is able to support its heavy weight by its thickness and density in its membrane which consists of 45-50% of the mass of SCP-274-2. SCP-274-2 acts as nematocysts for SCP-274-1, and can disguise themselves by merging into the walls. This is done by heavily compacting themselves and implanting itself into an interior wall, save for their mask, which flattens around the wall and disguises itself as standard graffiti. This behavior is proven to be a means of ambushing food for SCP-274-1, and will only react when it detects something it considers a food source. SCP-274-2 possess a hinged operculum that ejects SCP-274 located in the right hand. This operculum looks identical to a normal spray can, 
and can project SCP-274 in a similar manner. SCP-274-2 will attempt to spray SCP-274 into the eyes and mouth of its victims in an attempt to incapacitate and encapsulate them. This method of attack is shown to be very painful and will blind and numb the victim from the neck down. Once tagged, the victim is placed into a gastrovascular cavity, resulting in a new SCP-274-2. SCP-274-2 are able to duplicate themselves while inside an instance of SCP-274-1, and will produce one new SCP-274-2 every 24 hours. Once 12 SCP-274-2 specimens reside inside one SCP-274-1, further cases of SCP-274-2 will leave SCP-274-1 and find a new building to spray with SCP-274 while avoiding any people they may encounter. Once a building at least two kilometers away from another SCP-274-1 is found, the SCP-274-2 will spray SCP-274 onto the building until it has completely dehydrated itself of SCP-274 and dies, resulting in another instance of SCP-274-1. If left unchecked, it is estimated that SCP-274 could cover a large city within 20 days. Addendum 274 Date Bound Appearance January 2001 SCP-274-1-1 is painted to resemble a large bus with the number on its side. The front of the bus has been replaced by a human-like face, and the back is on fire. Bus patrons all look towards the front of the bus and do not seem to react to the fire. April 2006 SCP-274-1-2 is painted to look as if it's crumbling apart. At the base, people are illustrated to be running away from SCP-274-1-2, and a face can be seen forming from the falling rubble. March 2010 SCP-274-1-3 depicts a beach with three sharks in the water, and several people running from the shore. This scene is illustrated behind a large cartoon tiki statue, which takes up most of the front of SCP-274-1-3. August 2011 SCP-274-1-4 illustrates what is presumed to be Noah's Ark at sea. The creatures boarding the Ark do not match any known species. The Ark is depicted to have a face with several sharp teeth and eyes devoid of pupils or irises. November 2011 SCP-274-1-5 depicts several figures in Level 3 biohazard suits at the base. Figures are seen fighting each other for what appears to be a bottle of hand sanitizer. Several cadavers are piled on top of one another in the background with a large green cloud in the shape of a canine-like face emitting from them. This face is shown laughing, presumably at the people fighting. July 2012 SCP-274-1-6 is painted to resemble a mausoleum, with a large human skull painted on its front. Illustrated at the base of SCP-274-1-6 are figures suffering from advanced stages of rigor mortis. Most notable is that several figures appear to be wearing the standard-issue tactical armor distributed by MTF Pi-1. August 2012 SCP-274-1-7 is decorated with the scene of MTF Pi-1 setting SCP-274-1-7 on fire through the use of Molotov cocktails. A large depiction of SCP-274-2 can be seen attacking MTF Pi-1. August 2012 Operatives dead as a result of a large mob of SCP-274-2, numbering between 2 